What is going on guys? Strutzvutsia. Yeah. My name is Ramen Lover back again. No, it's not Ramen Lover. That is an old account. My name is Ramen back again from Ramen Reviews here with an episode of Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Goes Senpai. This is going to be my new Flashback Friday series. I know a lot of people were looking forward to some other series that I've been basically saying that I'll be getting to. And don't worry, I will be getting to them. I've just been a little bit busy. You know, uh, first day off in uh, a week. And uh, yeah. And my next break isn't until next week. So, yeah. Uh, things have been a really busy for me at work. Um, like, incredibly busy. I'm making a lot of money. Don't have time to spend it, really. I, in fact, I probably spent a good amount of money today to buy clothes for work. <laughs> because my uh, clothes at work are starting to get worn out because I'm constantly using them. Uh, but, yeah. So, I have a beer here. I finished watching today's episode of uh, Fire Force, which was... As per usual, a banger, I think Fire Force is a great episode, but, great series. But, getting back on topic, Brazil does not dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. I have seen this, the first episode, when it was still airing, I think, because I think Rascal was out the same time as Demon Slayer, I, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm almost positive, and I actually watched it the same day I think I watched the first two episodes of Demon Slayer, but I got hit with a copyright claim because I wasn't doing what I normally do now, which is, you know, this whole uh, shtick of covering things, and I have learned my lesson, I feel like, uh, and yeah, hold on, maybe I'm just trying to fix something really quickly, give me a second. Give me a second. I just want to make sure that... Okay, there we go. Sorry, I was just fixing the uh, screen of uh, the cover. The cover right here. But yeah, so I have seen the first episode, but only when it was still airing. Um, and honestly, I don't remember it, much of it. I remember that our main girl here, Mai, has this thing where she does not... She is not seen in the public eye anymore. And then... I don't remember much of the in-between, because that was kind of established, I think, maybe in the first 10 minutes, and then at the very end, we got to see the sister, and then about her, like, like the, the bruises, I think, on her body, and then it was talking a little bit about that, but yeah, um, that's basically all I remember. Hold on, I just, really quickly, before I jump into this, I'm just going to skip ahead really quickly, just to make sure my, okay, so I'm a little bit off with my um, scene right here, so let me fix that really quickly. Should have actually done this beforehand, but... Eh, c'est la vie. Alright, so that's going to be a little bit bigger. That's a little bit better, too. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the beginning. There we go. Actually, a, little, a couple seconds behind. Awesome. And without further ado, let us start a brand new Flashback Friday series. Rassel does not dream, dream of Bunny Girl Senpai starting in 3, 2, 1. Let's jam. And as per usual, I'll have just slight, slight sound. No, I, I know that's my. So I don't know really much about anything of the series. I've been actually kind of kept away from spoilers about this. And yeah. Does he have an alarm clock next to his bed? That's actually kind of smart. Also, I found out that... Uh, this guy is also the same voice actor who does, um, who does Naofumi. Huh. So he doesn't remember. Like I said, I saw this once. And honestly, like, it kind of has slipped my mind a bit. I think it, usually when I haven't seen, I'm actually going to lower the volume just slightly. Usually when I haven't seen a series in quite a long time, I tend to, and like, especially if I quote unquote drop it or just like haven't finished it, um, I tend to forget a lot of stuff that happens. Like I said, I, in the beginning of the video, I am going back and picking and, and remembering certain things. But yeah, I actually want to watch this on my own time as well, in the English dub. Also, speaking of dubs, the main heroine, Mai, um, is also a the same seiyu, voice seiyu for Raftalia. So I did find that funny. 
And I'm, I, as people pointed that out during my um, Shield Hero reaction, it was well, someone pointed out like early on, in, like I think like in the first like couple, few episodes. But I heard that like this. I also remember that this show is the most is is the prime example of why you should never judge a book by its cover. Because if you think about it, it's a very weird title, and the poster most people glance over it. And unless you know the actual series, but it wasn't until people actually sat down and actually watched the show um, that people were like, oh my god, this is actually a great show. Okay, so I remember that she was in the library just kind of like waltzing around. Okay, so this is May 6th when he meets Bunny Girl. Give me a second, I'm just taking off my shoes. And then she, I think, I remember like, I think she was like surprised that um, he, someone can actually even see her. Sound like I think like public perception. <laughs> don't get too close to me. I don't think I can forget. Alright, so I'm not going to really spoil too much from what I do know. But I want to at least, like... Hmm... Because I, I, I'm fairly blind to the series, but the one thing that I do know is that Kaede is his little, his little sister. <laughs> and also, Kaede doesn't like his like her brother in that kind of way. I think there was like another reason behind it. I don't know what that reason is, but it's not like, it's not like an Iromanga sensei or an emo type type of uh, familiar love, familial love. Sorry. Yes. You are not a man of culture. Oh, okay. So you are a man of culture. Fairly true. So I do know that I do know of the one line that happens later on because it was memed. It was the I want to push my face against those thighs. And I'm like, yes. I don't remember if like she was like a ch actress or an an idol. I forgot which one it was. Shoko. Who was Shoko again? Who was Shoko? I know that name, Shoko. I just... Mm. She seems a little bit uptight. A little bit prissy. It's weird, like, it's bouncing a little bit back and forth, like, hmm.
kind of is true. I know that they're not in the same class. Hmm. Everyone rushes for the pan bread. I would like to actually try Japanese pan bread. Especially like yakisoba bread. Oh, it's a, no, that's not her. Who the fuck cares about popularity? <laughs> Great comeback, by the way. So I'm just what I just try to make sure that this is as good as I can make it. Yes, actually, I kind of did. I actually kind of did. And I do know that Mai's best girl. <laughs> okay, so manager, okay, no, that, that still also works with actress. Also, I found that out, I found out why you don't ever take a phone call on a train. It's Japanese. It's a Japanese thing. You don't do it. I think it's a oh crap! I forgot what the actual name of it is. Um, it's basically indecency. Does I have like a picture of him? By the way, where the fuck does she actually put that phone? It's, it's more than me. <laughs> He doesn't seem the type. They're over exaggerated. They wouldn't believe you. Like, I can understand both points of view. Okay. 
Okay, so it is child actress. I could definitely see that being extremely stressful. So I'm more of just an actress rather than a person. So her wishes almost came true, but... Hmm. I do apologize for not, like, talking too much. <laughs> but, like, I feel like with this show, I'm going to have to pay attention. And then I do, I do know that there is some, like, there is a lot of, like, more than meets the eye. Such a weird. It's still weird. I mean, you got to see it firsthand. Superstitions. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I remember they talked about this. And I remember, like, something like his sister is affected by it. So, yeah, that's the one thing. There is a slight supernatural aspect to this, which I think I found fantastic. Fascinating, too. Fantastic and fascinating. Kitty. Aren't you older than him? <laughs> Already on a first name basis after... <laughs> I think I, I also remember seeing that little thing. She's actually gonna die. That's 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 sorry. Oh. Adolescent syndrome. That's right. That's that's what I do remember.
Like, but I, I do hope that they at least explain. I do know that there's a movie that continues this on, but yeah. Not. Uh. Professional lady. But she can also see him. See her. So maybe if you're. If you are subject to this adolescent syndrome, you might be able to. Ooh, maybe. Maybe if you're part of that. Maybe if you're like part of the. If you're subject to this adolescent syndrome, you can see my. Maybe. Mmm, well, that makes, that actually makes perfect sense. Mmm. You can just tell. She must, uh, I think she might, she must really hate this manager. How's it gonna do with the bunny suit? If you wear it. Oh, they work together. Female announcer. Is that the manager? <laughs> I, I like him. Oh, that's what it is. So she's kind of like almost like a reporter in a way. So she's almost in. So she's a reporter who likes to dabble in information. Oh, Rio? It is sugar. <laughs> I know her name was Futaba. Was it Rio Futaba? A lot of people say she's waifu material too. Actually, everyone says that about all the girls. So, buta actually doesn't that mean almost like a p 
pig, right? Hmm. Who is the Seiyu for Futaba? Gonna have to look that up. I'm starting to get to the point where, like, I'm. I can hear people's voice and be like, I know that voice. Schrodinger's cat? Yep. Cat, placed in a box with a. With a vial of poison that will break open at any random interval. While the while the lid is closed, you don't know if the cat is dead, so you must consider the cat alive and dead at the same time. So it's not them just like not seeing her, they're not even seeing her. Like the remembering that she exists. Mm-hmm. By the way, one of my favorite endings in terms of just songs. But okay, so he doesn't remember it. Okay, so it's at the end. It's May 29th from in the very first episode, from the beginning of this episode. So maybe he's even forgetting her? Hmm. Very, 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 very interesting. I'm not going to start use. I got to go to bed. It's almost 5 o'clock. Yeah. No, it's not almost. Yeah, it's almost 5 o'clock. Round it up. It's 5 o'clock. But yeah, so. Uh, there was a couple things that I don't remember. But a lot of it did come, come back to me. But yeah. Totally, like, really entranced in this show. The main reason why I never continued watching it was simply due to the fact that my my video was instantly claimed and being taken down. Um, hopefully this doesn't happen. Hopefully this will help, but we shall see. But anyways, guys, I'm going to head out. I'm gonna go sleep. I'm gonna. I actually had to finish do, uh, moving over some laundry that I did. And yeah, I will be seeing you guys next week. Unfortunately, like only one episode this week. But next week, hopefully. If my calculations are work or will work, and if I can do it by tomorrow, at least the majority of them, hopefully three episodes, I'll at least get caught up on track. Because usually I like to do around two per week, but we'll see what happens. Who knows? Maybe these next coming days won't be as bad. Saturday will be a little bit busy, but I should be able to do it afterwards. Sunday? Eh, that's going to be a little tough. We'll see what happens. But anyways, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. And as always, I will see you all tomorrow for Demon Slayer. Or if you're not watching Demon Slayer with me next week for the next episode of Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.